Hey, this is Racquetball Tim, and this is gameplay analysis number two for Oscar. All right, Oscar, you missed a year, you had a baby, congratulations, you took a year off racquetball, and now you're back on the court trying to get back to where you were. In your first league back, you got to the final, so you have to give yourself some credit for that. Your game improved over time. Now you're heading into the A League, and you're ready to step it up with the big boys. One of your focuses on improving is to let the ball drop. You're going to see that throughout the video. Uh, letting the ball drop is... Uh, paramount to hitting effective shots in racquetball. You hit a good serve here. I had to take it from my shoulder. Usually I go ceiling on that, but I would try to go down the line. Uh, there's a good example right there. The ball came way up the back for a setup, and you hit it way too high. Uh, it was close to the sidewall, but if you had taken a few steps forward, you probably could have let that ball drop. When you contact the ball high with a flat swing, the ball leaves your racket flat, which means it's going high, comes off the back, gives me a setup, and I hit a wide angle that you cover. I like the ceiling ball here because you're in trouble. Again, I try an aggressive shot. Normally I go ceiling there, but I wanted to come out aggressively against you. Give you a setup off the back and you hit a nice down the line. Perfect shot there. That's the right shot and it won you the rally. Another theme that you're going to see in this video is uh, missed opportunities. So you hit a pretty good serve here. I came out a little pumped up in this game. I tried a wide angle. The reason I love the wide angle, even when you hit it bad, it's good because it comes off the back at a weird angle. So here's your opportunity. You got a, I like the fact that you went to your forehand. This is a setup. Uh, down the line would have won it for you here. A uh, nice low shot would have won it. But uh, you contacted it a little too high, and the ball came uh, to the right side of the court, and I was just able to flick it up to the ceiling there. So now I have you where I want you deep in the court, returning a ceiling ball. You go back to the ceiling, it's too long, so I decided to wait for it. Uh, watch how low the ball drops. I just swing flat and level, ball is about ankle height, and it's a perfect kill shot. After this rally, you said to me, I didn't think you were going to get that. Uh, which is fine, I understand that, but uh, in racquetball, just always assume they're going to get it, <laughs> always. So after you hit the shot, watch your feet here, kind of stay in the back, you're hanging out, and the big guy's up there running, covering the shot, and I got to it and killed it. So you might have had that shot, because I left that up a little bit, but you got to never assume I'm not going to get it. I want you to work on this for the, for the current league that we're in is when you're returning lob serves by cutting them off, which is exactly, exactly what you should do, uh, I want you to pound the lines. You, you tend to hit a lot of cross-court returns off lob serves. And this one was so high, you might have went to the ceiling, might have been a better shot. But when you contact the ball that high and you see your high follow through there as well, if you hit it to my forehand, it's going to come off the back wall and that's trouble. Now I got a setup, I just put away a little splat shot to win it. So really work on that return down the line off of lob serves. I want you to really focus on getting your racket up, especially on the backhand side. As the ball's coming to you here, your racket is in front of you. It's actually, it should be behind your left ear right now, cocked and ready. At the last second, you bring it there, but now you're just hitting a flick shot because your racket wasn't up, and you give me a setup, and I hit a nice little reverse pinch there to win it. Get that racket up nice and early so you can just take your swing when the ball gets to you. Here's another good example of a missed opportunity. I had a basic lob surf here. Watch where the first bounce is. It's past the dotted line. you got to step up there and cut that off. Right now you're back in the corner, and that's never a good place to be. Uh, your ceiling ball goes to my forehand, gives me an easy setup, and I put it away. So really get up there. Uh, try to attack every single lob serve that you can. Just tell yourself that. Attack every single serve.
There's some good things happening in this rally here. I started with a uh, high lob nick. Uh, you did a, a good thing here, waiting for this and taking it to the ceiling, not trying to play it off the back. It was a good serve, but hit that ceiling ball to the backhand side. Yeah, to my forehand side, you're going to be on defense. There you go, you're on defense. A little bit of a fortunate bounce here. I might have been on the back up, but I decided to play it safe and take it to the ceiling. Watch your racket there. It's in front of you again. The last second, you bring it behind your ear. That's too late. But I do like the shot choice here, the wide angle pass. If you're going to attack my forehand, attack it with wide angles. Force me into a weak return. There's your setup. Pinch will do, down the line will do, cross court will do, anything from there. Perfect shot to win it. Nice job. Another good example of uh, missed opportunities. First of all, you hit a lob nick here that was beautiful. Anytime you can ace me with a lob, you know it's a good one. I love to attack lobs, and I couldn't attack that one. I, maybe I could have and went to the ceiling, but I waited, which is never good, and you aced me. So if you ace somebody with a lob, go right back to it. Why not? Your next serve was also a good lob. I wasn't able to attack it, so I flicked it to the ceiling. It was such a good serve that I couldn't get my whole racket on it. I missed my ceiling ball a little bit, gave you a setup. I'm way off to the right side of the court, so I love the overhead here. I just happened to cover it and flick it up to the ceiling. Now, in this situation, it's pretty similar to the last one, but I'm in position now, and you're deep in the court. So cross court, uh, overhead has to be perfect. You're probably better off going to the ceiling. So it comes off the back wall. You give me a setup, and now you're on defense. Uh, so you missed your opportunities to score, and I took advantage of mine here on the front left, hitting a little splat there. This is probably the most common mistake I see when people return uh, drive serves, is they guess. Never guess. React to the ball. So you guessed that I was going to serve to the backhand side, and I hit a Z. Look where your body is. You're going way to the left, and now it's too late to recover. Hold your position. Don't guess. We're going to see the exact same situation right here. At the point of contact, you're down and ready, which is perfect. As the ball leaves my racket, you start moving to the left. So you guessed again. You guessed wrong. Now you're deep in the court. you got to go ceiling with that. Pinch is never going to work there. Uh, you, you give me a setup. I put it away with a pinch in the front left corner. So don't guess on those drive serves, Oscar. Hold your position. I'm so glad I got this on video. I wanted to show people this. Uh, I always find that people's perception of what happened is different from what actually happened. So you thought this was a crack ace. I hit a nice low drive serve, hits the side wall. Watch where the second bounce is, Oscar. It's right at your feet. You actually could have returned that serve. I see this all the time. People say, that guy's serve. I couldn't get it. I couldn't get it. Meanwhile, you could have because your perception was off. One step forward, you would have had that and be able to flick it to the ceiling. I know this rally ends up with a penalty hinder, formerly known as an avoidable hinder, but I thought there was a lot of stuff you could learn from this rally, so I wanted to play it anyway. I get jammed by your lob serve, and I leave up my pass. gives you an easy setup. If you let the ball drop, you would have won the rally there, so it's a missed opportunity. Now I'm deep in the court. I'm in trouble, so I go to the ceiling, but I missed it. Another opportunity. Down the line or cross-court Oscar there. Uh, running back and hitting a reverse pinch is just way too difficult at any level. So now you're on defense, trying to get back trying to get yourself back into the rally. I just keep the pressure on overhead to the backhand. Just trying to keep you deep in the court. I love how you hit the ceiling ball here. It's a, like a reset button in the rally. When you're in trouble, hit the reset button, get yourself back in position. My ceiling ball was good, so you went back to the ceiling again. It comes off the back, and I hit another bad backhand. My second one of this rally comes way off the back for a setup. You got a golden opportunity here, but you get jammed, kind of an inside-out swing, and the ball was too high, leading to the penalty hinder. Ball comes right back to you. I got a setup.
She had a couple chances to win that rally. After hitting a couple of bad backhands, I would have served to my backhand too. <laughs> Might as well attack it. But your serve is way too long here. It comes off the back for an easy setup. I just stay low and put it away. Earlier I mentioned work on your ceiling ball return and down the line return to the backhand side. So I hit you a half lob and you go to the ceiling to the backhand. Keep, make that a, a staple of your game, Oscar. Forget those cross courts. Only mix them in sometimes. I missed my ceiling ball. It gives you a setup. The right shot here is pretty obvious. It's either you know, down the line to the left side of the court or a pinch to the right. The safe shot is down the line. There it is. You go straight in with the kill. Very nicely done. When you fight for a position in racquetball, good things happen. Uh, being in center court more often than your opponent will win you most matches. Hit a pretty good serve here. Your ceiling ball comes off the back. I laid into this backhand. If I had hit it a little straighter into the corner, not such an angle on it, I might have won the rally, but you're in position. You got your racket on it. You hit a really nice pinch shot in the front court. When your opponent's deep in the court, any pinch will do. So nice job there holding your position. Earlier in the video, you guessed on a drive serve, and I hit a Z. Now you guessed on a lob serve, and look at the opportunity you missed. Look at my position, look where the ball is. If you cut that ball off, let it bounce once, catch it on the short hop, hit a cross court, you win that rally. As it stands, you hit a ceiling ball right down the middle. Now you're out of position, and you're hitting it to my forehand. That's a bad combination, so I put it away there. You missed your opportunity, and you gave me mine. The serve you hit here is similar to the one I hit earlier that you thought was an ace. You cracked it, but I stayed with it, just flicked it to the ceiling. You could have done the same thing earlier if you go back and watch that part of the video. Now I got you deep in the court. You try to go down the line. That's a difficult shot there, Oscar. That, that deep in the court when the ball's that high, you're probably better off going ceiling. You hit it to my forehand and I put it away with a little splatty. Another excellent example of perception on the racquetball court. I'm pretty sure that everyone who just watched that clip said that I hit a kill shot. But if we watch it again, we're going to see what actually happened. First of all, cut that serve off, as I said earlier. Instead, you waited in the back, and now you have to hit a, a ceiling ball or something defensive. So as it comes off the back here, watch where you're standing. Look at your position right there. You're way too deep. You're four to five feet behind the dotted line. You should be one to two feet behind the dotted line. Roll it forward, there's the shot. Watch where the second bounce is, right at the dotted line. If you were in position, you would have had that. It was not a kill shot. It was a shot that I left up that was retrievable. There's perception. Racquetball is about control and controlling the rally. I hit a lob serve, you guess to the right, the ball goes left. Look where that first bounce is. You could have taken control of this rally right there. Cut that serve off, rip it down the line, and now you're on offense and I'm on defense. But now you missed your shot, so now I have control of the rally. I like how you hit a ceiling ball, kept it deep in the court. The shot I attempted here looked much better in my head than it did when it came out. I had delusions of grandeur. And one crazy shot deserves another. But again, I'm, I'm in control of this rally, hitting hard shots, getting you on the run. You're hitting a lot of defensive shots. You could have taken control of this rally right off the serve. I love how you get yourself back in position here. Good position, too, one to two feet behind the dotted line. But again, you're on defense the whole time here. Uh, I really want you to get a, a real go-for-it mentality, you know, like this eye of the tiger or however you want, <laughs> whatever works for you. Just take control of the rally and get your opponent moving. Get them on defense.
Let's talk about shot selection here. You know what I'm going to say for the serve, of course. Cut that off. That's something you're going to have to work on. Just tell yourself I'm going to cut off every single serve. The shot selection here, I like the ceiling ball, but you got to hit it to the backhand side. Keep it away from my forehand. Keep it away from everyone's forehand. Very rarely will you find a player who has a, a better backhand than forehand. So generally, you want to attack their backhand. You hit a nice ceiling ball to my backhand. I miss my setup. The right shot here, Oscar, is a down the line. You got me shaded to the right. Reverse pinch is a difficult shot to begin with. It's even more difficult when your opponent's in front of you because this happens way too often. You leave the ball up, give them a setup in the front court. Now you're behind me. Any pinch will do. I wanted to show this not to be cocky or arrogant, but when you don't cut off lob serves, you make your opponent feel pretty comfortable. Look at me, I'm actually looking outside the court to make sure that my camera was still running and that nobody was standing in front of it. If that doesn't motivate you to want to cut off lob serves, I don't know what will. And I know you can do it. I've seen you do it before. I just want you to make that change in your head, just to have that go for it mentality. You know, just don't let anyone lob serve you without feeling uncomfortable. You want to make them feel as uncomfortable as possible. Now you're playing against Maria. She's a women's A player. She just won the A division here in Las Vegas at the CPRT tournament. The thing you want to rem remember with her is to keep it to her backhand at all times. There's a huge disparity in the skill between her forehand and her backhand, even more so than, than most players. She has a really good forehand. She can hit it 95, 98 miles an hour, and her backhand is uh, less than uh, average, I would say. So keep it to her backhand most of the time. We're going to see a few mistakes that you make uh, as the video progresses where you're hitting it way too much to her forehand. There's a shot to her forehand, and she puts it away. So we're going to see more of that in a few minutes here. Every time. When you do have to hit it to her forehand, um, you want to make sure she's either out of position, number one, or you hit a wide angle cross court pass, which is what you hit uh, in the second shot of this rally. So it's a pretty good angle there. You got her deep in the court. She has to save it. Got your setup. I would say you hit down the line here 90% of the time against her. And if you're going to go cross court, make it just like this. Wide angle hits the front, hits the side wall first, and wraps around behind her. Good job. I'm right into my head, bro. Like it wasn't painful, but it was like I couldn't move. But you too. Maria likes to hit this second serve. It's like a Z that comes right at you. Your best bet is to let it hit the floor and then take it off the back. It's a setup every single time. I try to get her to stop doing it, but she seems to like it. If you're going to hit a ceiling ball, go to her backhand. You hit it to her forehand. You got a setup here. You went right back to the forehand again. Keep it away from that forehand. Just avoid it like the plague. Next time you play her, I want you to go on the court and just tell yourself, I'm going to hit as many shots as I can to the backhand. And you, you watch what happens when you do. You get much, much better results. Another setup for you off the back. You've got to hit this cross court to her backhand. You go straight in. She kind of had to d jump over it, so she plays it safe and goes back to the ceiling. It's a good ceiling ball, though, and you have to go back to the ceiling. Where should you hit it? To the backhand side. And you went to the forehand side. So this is something you're definitely going to have to work on, Oscar. The more you hit to her forehand, the more chances she has uh, to do this, to rip a down the line or a kill shot. Keep it to her back end, limit her offense. Missing a fun game, Mark. Maria starts this rally off with one of her drive serves. She loves to hit them. People hate to have to return them. This one does come off the back a little bit, so get your racket up nice and high and hit that right down the line. You hit it to her forehand again, so you're going to be on defense. There's the offensive shot. She missed it a little bit, so now you got her on defense. 
She tries an offensive shot. If you're in trouble, go ceiling to her back end. Perfect. Watch what happens when you go to her back end. You get her deep in the court. This happens more often than not. On the forehand side, she'll punish you. On the backhand side, the odds are in your favor that you're going to win the rally. When I was watching this video, I noticed that you were on defense a lot, and the reason was because you were hitting so many shots to her forehand and she was just controlling the rallies. In the rallies where you were hitting to her backhand, I could see the old Oscar getting his racket up and ripping shots and controlling the rally. Here's another good example of it right here. You went to ceiling ball to her backhand. She hits a weak return, kind of flicks it back to you. There's the old Oscar's got his racket up, taking a full forehand power down the line. That's what I want to see right there. You earn that because of the ceiling ball to her back end. I just need to fight in my top to end of the dragon. Top ball. There's some good ceiling balls. Now wait for it. Ooh. One of the things we're trying to do is really work on your backhand, especially shots that come off the back wall. We want you to bend your knees and get nice and low and get your racket up so that you can, you know, have your racket prepared as the ball's coming off the back. Then all you have to do is just take a nice flat swing, which you have. So here we're going to see you did a nice job of earning a setup in this rally. And as the ball's coming off the back here for the setup, you can see you're pretty low. Your step should be toward the front left corner. You're kind of stepping toward the side wall, which is okay sometimes, but your racket is just way too low. You got to get that racket up so that you can, you know, really set yourself up for a good flat swing, jacking your hips through the zone and getting more power into your shot. Just for reference, I'm going to show my backhand from earlier here. Just try to think of an archer. I have my racket up kind of like an archer has his bow up. As I take my step, the racket comes up higher by my left ear, which is kind of like an archer pulling back the string. Ball comes down, now I'm taking my shot, the hip rotation, the back left foot pivots. That ensures that my hips get through the zone. Remember, the backhand power comes from the hips. Yeah, yeah, I'm to Just looking for some games. We're going to get a good look at your backhand mechanics from the front court now. Maria hits a pretty good serve. Take this down the line, Oscar, most of the time. Avoid that forehand. She hit a good shot. Fortunately, you saved it. Again, to her forehand. Um, she went deep in the court. Tried a crazy shot. Give you a setup. So as we slow it down here, let's take a look at your backhand. Get that racket up. I want you to watch your follow-through too, okay? You got pretty good hip rotation here, but get that racket pointing the back wall. You want it pointing toward the back wall as you finish your swing. That ensures that your hips came all the way through the zone. It shouldn't finish pointing the right wall. Record your video games. Good sir. This is a good rally to finish up with here. Uh, first, you ace her to the left side. Good drive serve there. That's what you want to hit against her. Keep pounding those drive serves, half lobs, and lob nicks to her back end. After a good drive serve, uh, a good play is to either hit it again or mix it up and go to the other side with the drive down the line or a drive Z. Here you tried the drive down the line. I like it. It's a little bit high. Get that ball nice and low. Uh, it comes off the back. Now you're going to save it because you're in trouble. I love that too. So you're keeping the ball to her back end, which is going to win you more rallies than it's going to lose you. There's a setup right there. Got a little bit unlucky there with that, that bounce against the sidewall, hit the crack. But you did a good job saving it. Right here is your chance to score. you got to pinch this. She's on the right side of the court. Instead, you go with the cross court, and uh, she gets back and saves it. Cross court's okay there if you hit it nice and low. I, re I really like the pinch though in that situation because she was behind you. So now you go to the ceiling again, playing the odds. This is what she does some of the time. Most of the time, you're going to get a setup or a weak return. This one here, she happened to kill. I really like how you played that rally, though, and I think you got to keep doing that. Pound her back in, earn your setups. All right, Oscar, I'm looking forward to seeing how you progress for everyone else. Learn more at howtoplayracquetball.org.